What's up everyone, this is FNH here, and today I'm going to be talking about how to access your iPhone's internal storage, like music and videos, through outside of iTunes directly. So be sure to watch all the way until the end. So the program that we're going to be using today is called PanPhone. And I, before I kind of get into the program uh, and like why you want to do this, there's situations when you're actually connecting your iPhone, like I currently have to my device right now. It only shows me like internal storage in terms of like pictures. So it's only going to show me images that I currently have. It's not going to, and maybe videos. It doesn't really show me anything else, which is why this kind of sucks. Hence why I'm not really trying to go down this route. There's other places where you want to see your files. You want to do data recovery, data transfer, data erasure, all those other things that you can't really do through a regular, uh, like from the PC itself, like going from devices to iPhone and using iTunes kind of sucks. It glitches, it's slow, it bugs out with the computer. So you don't want to go down those routes. So what you're going to do is what I'm suggesting right here using PanPhone. This is a free software. Uh, I'll give you the link for you guys to download and check out. And for the sake of like what you need to do, you can easily get it done over here. So you can see all my music pops over here. I got some Zelda themes. I got some Youth of the Nation. You know, I got some Mike Shinoda in there as well. So yeah, you can literally see all your music here, your podcasts, your audiobooks, your ringtones, etc. You get all your information, your photos. I don't want to open up photos because I got stuff there. You got your apps as well. It shows you a lot of different features, and there's a lot of things you can do over here. And it's an extremely simple, sleek, and like easy to use software that I would actually highly, highly, highly recommend you guys to check out. Because one, it's free, and it literally gets you all the stuff you need to do. You can easily import data in here as well as export data as well. So you can put in videos as well as take out videos. You can put in movies if you wanted to. You can put in music from here rather than iTunes which for me, I feel like is a huge plus. Because again, like I said, the purpose is to get like an iTunes alternative and this works perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, uh, overall, as you can see, like all my apps pop over here. You can install apps over here as well. There's a little bit trick and play to that. But yeah, you can, like I said, you can do everything you want. You can add, you can export, you can do basically everything that you want. Uh, so guys, overall, if you overall found this video helpful and informative, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Other than that, FNH out.